Adobe Dimension use Adobe standard material and the texture map types that can be used for each property channel. This document outlines Adobe standard material, ASM, used to create the materials available in many Adobe products and services. ASM materials are currently supported in Adobe Dimension, Project Aero, Adobe Stock 3D, Adobe Capture, Export Only. Adobe Standard Material, ASM, is a standardized material template defined in NVIDIA's Material Definition Language, MDL. It adheres to the physically based rendering, PBR, Metal Roughness Workflow. Let's discover surface properties in Adobe Dimension one by one. Base Color Base color controls the surface tint of the geometry. It affects both the bounced light and the light that refracts through the geometry. You can set it to a color value or input an RGB image. Glow Glow controls the intensity of light that is emitted from the surface. It can be set to zero or a positive value or can input a black and white image. When using an image, black areas reflect light while white areas emit light. The color of the light emitted is controlled by base color, glow only specifies the intensity. Opacity Opacity controls the visibility of the surface geometry. It can be set to a value between 0% and 100%, or can input a black and white image. When using an image, black areas are transparent while white areas are opaque. Note that visibility is not refraction, when opacity is less than 1. The transparent portion of light passes directly through the object and is not refracted at all. To enable refraction, set the translucence property defined below. Roughness Roughness controls how shiny the surface geometry is. It can be set to a value between 0% and 100%, or can input a black and white image. When using an image, black areas are polished and white areas are matte. Metallic Metallic controls the degree of metallic luster a surface has. It can be set to a value between 0% and 100%, or can input a black and white image. When using an image, black areas will be non-metallic and white areas will be metallic. Metallic areas will tint reflections according to the base color, whereas non-metallic areas will not tint reflections. Interior Properties Translucence Translucence controls the amount of light able to refract through the object. It works in conjunction with the other interior properties. It can be set to a value between 0% and 100%, or can input a black and white image. When using an image, black areas are non-translucent and white areas are translucent. Index of Refraction Index of Refraction controls the amount light bends as light passes through the object, and only has an effect when the material has some level of translucency. It can be set to a value between 1 and 3 the value is the same throughout the entire volume of the object. Therefore, an image input is not supported. Density Density adjusts the clarity of the interior volume to be clear or foggy and only has an effect when the material has some level of translucency. It can be set to 0 or any positive value. The value is the same throughout the entire volume of the object. Therefore, an image input is not supported. Interior color Interior color adjusts the color of the interior volume fog and only has an effect when the material has some level of translucency and some level of density.
it can be set to a color value. The value is the same throughout the entire volume of the object. Therefore, an image input is not supported. Shape properties. Normal map. Normal map adds details to the surface without displacement. Normal maps work in conjunction with the height map to change the angle of the surface geometry or to fake additional lighting information. The normal map must be set using a linear RGB image input, using the Adobe standard material in dimension. Materials are a collection of many properties and you can completely customize each one. To access the properties of a material or graphic, Simply select it either by clicking it in the scene panel or double clicking in the canvas. Material properties take either a color, an image, or a value. To change a color property, click the color swatch and use the color picker to select a color or input color value. Change the color property of the selected material. To change a non color property, Use the slider control to increase or decrease the value or directly type in a value. Change the non-color property of the selected material. To use an image for a color property, drag the color image to the image swatch. Using a color image to change the base color property of the selected material. To use an image for a non-color property, drag a black and white image onto the plus, icon or the image swatch next to that property. You can create the mask affects with this property. For example, with the metallic property, black areas become non-metallic and white areas become metallic. Using a black and white image to change the metallic property of the selected material. Control the position, rotation, and scale of the material. All images used in a property can be transformed together in the material properties. Apply transformation in position, rotation, and scale of the material. 